not not making up a, a, a new doctrine and and trying to say that it's in the scriptures, man. When it, when it clearly isn't. Okay, which is what these churches do and all these other guys, because they've got their own philosophy, they've got their own own imaginations of how God should be, rather than how God is in the scriptures, man. They want their their God to be a certain way and act a certain way, because that's they've created God in their mind, man. After their own selves, after what they believe, man. Okay, and that's not how that's not how the Most High is, man. Okay. The law doesn't change for nobody, man. You read the scripture, man. Hey, king of terrors, man. Okay, no respect to not a respect to a persons, man. So you have to come come to the Lord humble, man. Okay, and and and, and be begging for mercy. Okay, he's he's not the God that you want him to be, man. He's the God that you have, man. You have to deal with him appropriately, man. That's things like his name and stuff like that. You you call him by his name, man. Okay. You don't call him by any other names, these next names. You don't get to call him what you want, man. That's not how things work around here, man. Okay? Because that shows lack of respect. Okay? But, you know, you got this whole, this whole fucking love doctrine that the Lord don't care about this, this much. That's, that's just bullshit at the end of the day, man. You're going to get put to death, man. You're going to get, you either much, you're going to get chains put around you, man. All these other nations are going to get chains put on them, man. You're going to get put to death. That's what's in the scriptures, man. I ain't made that up. That's not a new doctrine. That's in the scriptures, man. Okay, but this whole love the world, save the world shit, that's not in the scriptures, man. So you're gassed on your own self-beliefs, man, because that's what you want to believe, man. But that's not the case. Okay? The white man can't be saved. <laughs> right? Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The scripture is full of <clears throat> it's like a dark sayings and, and cryptic stuff, man. Metaphorical speech and all kinds of different speeches are in there, man. Okay? And the Lord's got to be dealing with you on, on a level to be able to decipher with that man and... and and, and bring it home, man. Okay, so you understand it. Okay, because there's a lot of stuff in there, man, that goes over people's heads, man, and they didn't even really think about it. They didn't even cross their mind. You know? But th but that's the only way, man. That's that's why the truth needs to be expounded on, because everything that's... It, not everything that's written in the scriptures, man, is going to make complete sense. Okay? So you have to... You have to <coughs> it's like you break it down okay and expound upon it man to gain the understanding okay but the Lord has to be dealing with you on that level to be able to, for you to be able to do that okay that's why the Lord has to give understanding man because you're not going to understand these dark sayings man There's some of these dark sayings are just too deep for most people man okay and you just have to accept that man okay um, this is Proverbs 9 verse 9 It says give instruction to a wise man And he will yet be wiser Teach a just man and he will increase in learning Okay That's plain and simple man Okay You know the Lord deems us You know the men of the Lord as wise men Okay And the wise men will increase in learning man Not these reprobates like Nate And polite Any, any of these 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 idiots out there, man, that come up, come up, come up, uh, come up against GMS, man. They're a reprobate. Okay, they're not really wise, man. They they think they're wise, but like they have the wisdom of this world. That's all they have. Okay, some amalgamation of of, of worldly wisdom and, and scriptures and other philosophies and all that kind of shit. Okay, that's what they're rolling about with, man. They've not got the, the pure truth, man. They've not got hundred percent truth. Okay, they're not dealing with hundred percent truth, man. They reject truth okay this is Proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding okay it's not when, when you read things and or trying to gain understanding of it man you need to uh, read it from um, a non-biased perspective man you don't put your emotions in it oh I don't agree with that kind of thing it can't be talking about that because that just sounds wrong 
that that's a that's an emotional response, man. Okay, that's that's you being in denial of the things that you're reading, man. Want, wanting it to be something else, wanting it to mean something else. Oh, I love America. I, you know, it can't be talking about America. It can't, you know, that, that can't be Babylon. That can't be being destroyed, man. Get over it, man. Get over it, man. America, America is a foul, wicked place, man, and it needs to be destroyed, man. Regardless of what the scripture scripture says, America needs to be destroyed anyway. Okay, so all for that, man. But the fact is, the scripture does tell tell you that it's going to be destroyed, man, and America is not going to be recognizable after the nuclear weapons hit, man, and done and dusted. It's going to be a desert. Okay, but you have to come to terms, man, and set your emotions aside, man, and to to re uh, uh, encompass these scriptures, man. To let it dwell within you, man, and let it grow in you, man. Okay, to to, to for you to be, you know, cleansed of, of 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 the of the leaven that you have inside your, inside your mind, man. Okay, so you gotta come to terms with it and set your emotions aside, man. And just deal with what the scriptures is saying, man. All these guys out here trying to bend bend over backwards, trying to disprove things, man, just because they're not happy with what it's saying, man. That's emotional, man. That's 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 effeminate faggot shit, man. Okay. It says here, this is um, Proverbs three. Sorry, it's like a thirty verse five. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. And add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Like I said, that adding is talking about new doctrines and things that are not contained in the scriptures, man. Okay, things that are not contained in the scriptures, things that don't back up the scriptures, man. Okay, things that just bring contradictories into the scriptures, which many people have brought in over over the centuries, man. Okay, which you know, elders, the apostles have, have had to clear up, man, to bring you the truth. Otherwise, you you otherwise you still be believing that you know the Lord was a so-called white man. You know, if the truth wasn't wasn't brought out. Okay? So it's about bringing new things in. They're not understanding of the things that are contained in the scriptures. Okay, that's why the elders and apostles, they're on a higher level than these clowns out here, man. The General Gehenna and Polite and Nate and... You know, Skari. They're, they're, they're fucking miners in the world, man. Okay, they're just... They're minor people, man. They're not on, on any level. Lord ain't dealing with them. Okay, which brings me to the next point here. It says uh, Amos 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, if the Lord ain't dealing with you. If you're not a, a prophet of the Lord, man, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. If you're not underneath the prophets, the elders, the apostles, okay, the Lord ain't really dealing with you, man. If you're not dealing with the same doctrine, the Lord is not dealing with you, man. Okay, because the truth has only been revealed unto certain men, and them certain men feed the rest of the flock. Okay, and it ain't Sakari, it ain't fucking Nate, it ain't, it ain't General Johanna. They ain't doing it, man. They ain't got the truth, man. It's not them that have been set up fucking commanding General. That That's all fucking gas talk, man. They're there they're for fucking. Popularity and shit, man. Trying to get their fucking name out there and shit. Okay, they don't care about the flock, man. None of these people do. All the elders care about the flock. Okay, and the flock. Uh, I can only be talking about the elect. Okay, because this this truth isn't for the whole of Israel, man. Okay, because the Lord has blocked the minds of these fucking gremlins out here, so they cannot receive repentance, man. Okay, that's written in the scriptures, man. I don't know what's so hard to get. We're not going to be wasting our time with gremlins, man. We're searching for the elect. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. It says, At that time, Yahweh shall answer and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Okay, in this world, man, we're not considered as as, as wise people, man. We ain't got no PhDs and... You know, 
doctors and professors of, of fucking historical, biblical history and all that kind of shit. Okay, that's not us, man. Okay, but we we have knowledge beyond all of that, man. Beyond these these so called scholars in their fields. Okay, the Lord has, has picked the meek to bestow upon His knowledge, man. Okay, not the not the wise of this world, man. Because like I said read earlier, man, the wisdom of this world is foolishness, man. Okay, He's not dealing with those up themselves guys, man. He's He's dealt with the lowly and the meek to, to receive this truth. Okay, that's who he's, that's who He's dealing with. Okay, and this is the last scripture. We're going to end it on this. Okay, he says here, he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Because like I said, the Lord's got to be dealing with man. If the Lord ain't dealing with you, it ain't meant for you, man. You ain't ever going to gain understanding, man. Okay? Unless you have, you know, unless the Lord has, has, has chosen you from the beginning as, the, as one of his elect, you're not going to come round to this thing, man. Okay, and it ain't nothing no one could do or say about it. Okay. It says for whosoever have, to him shall be given, and he shall ha have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Okay. Hey, how we speak sometimes, man, is, is cryptic to you fools, man. You don't understand what it is we're saying half the time, man. Okay, you act like you understand, but you really don't. You know. You don't understand. You, you've not. Be you don't have the knowledge to understand the things that we speak about, man. That's why you 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 vehemently oppose us, man. Okay, you don't have the level of understanding needed or required to to gain that to gain the understanding of the things we say. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's because because they seeing so I like you. It says because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are of dull of hearing, and their eyes they have they have closed. Lest at any time should they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should uh, should be blessed, sorry, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Mean the Lord don't want to heal these people, man. The two thirds are, are ordained to be destroyed. That is their destiny. That is their fate. Okay, they're going to come back in the kingdom. But on this side, they're ordained to be destroyed. Just like the one third, the elect, they're, they're, they're uh, ordained to be saved for salvation. Okay, we have different paths, man. Okay, and, and at, at the end, man, we're going we're gonna to completely part ways, man. You're, you're going to be removed from the realm of, of, of existence down here, man. Okay, and we're we, we going to see you again in the kingdom, man. But, you know, the sides have been, have, have been picked. Okay, you got the men and the Lord, and you got the rest of the world, man. And, and you two-thirds, you, you with the rest of the world, man. So you can continue uh, being on that side of the fence, man. But the scripture tells you, though hand joining being, um, hand joining the hand, man, you, you'll both be punished, man. Okay, you're both going to get punished. So the two sides have already been picked. Okay. It says, verse 17, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Okay. So, like I said, it don't matter if you people can't get the things that we say, and you're and you opposed you, you oppose against it. It doesn't matter, man. You, you, you just have lack. You just have a lack of understanding, man. The Lord hasn't given it to you. Okay, you're not going to convince of convince us any other any other way. We know what the truth is, man. The Lord is dealing with us, man. Okay, so you know you you continue you continue chatting your your, your bullshit all day. You know, there's only so many times you know we're willing to break it down to a man. Okay, if you if you, you want to keep rejecting it, then you're never going to gain that understanding. You know the, the Lord. It's not stop for you, man. He ain't coming. He ain't coming for you, man. He ain't gonna come and save you, man. Okay, and you know we just we just, we just got to carry on doing what we do, man. Searching for the elect, man. Because obviously, guys like that ain't a part of the elect, man. Okay, so with that, brothers, I'm gonna say shalom, and I'll catch you, brothers, in the next video.